I want to deep dive into the symbols of the Ace of Pentacles today because I think it is a completely fascinating card. The Ace of Pentacles can, of course, be as simple as meaning um, money coming in, a new start that has good financial um, outcome, uh, a job offer, anything like that. It, it, it could also mean a house move. It can mean the birth of something new, which could be a business or even a baby, if the other cards are there to sort of back that up. But I want to look at the symbols of this card because I think they're easily overlooked. I'm going to start by comparing the Ace of Pentacles to the other three Aces. And you will notice that the other aces all have this sort of flame-like symbol. In the Ace of Cups, we see them as water droplets. In the Ace of Swords, we see them almost as tiny flames. And in the Ace of Wands, we see them as leaves. They are missing on the Ace of Pentacles. You can find them elsewhere in the Rider Waite deck, for example, on the Moon or the Tarot, uh, the Tower, my, my bad. And they represent a Jewish blessing. They're connecting to the, the letters of the name Jehovah. And it, it, it adds an uplift to the car. It adds a spiritual blessing um, a divine uplift to the card and it is clearly missing in the ace of pentacles we still have um the divine hand we still have the cloud we still have the light around the hand all of those are still there but the yods are missing and to me that is because this is a harder card than the other aces you're gonna have to work harder to get the blessings of the ace of pentacles maybe that's because it's a a more grounded energy maybe that's because it's pentacles we're talking about real physical manifestation rather than energy or insight or emotion connected perhaps with the other um aces or maybe that's just to do with this suit generally the other thing I really want you to draw your attention to is the rim. This is the only pentacle with a rim. I've just gathered um, as comparison the court cards and you'll see that with each of the court cards as there is throughout the deck, each pentacle just has the one line around it. So the Ace of Pentacles has a rim. And to me, that rim is a reminder that there's two sides to this card. <laughs> a bit like the lack of yards. There's two sides to this card. Yes, it's a wonderful opportunity. Yes, the gods or your god is being generous. Yes, it's there for the taking. But to me, the rim showing that there is another side to this pentacle and the lack of yards showing that it's not quite as easy as the other pentacles is that big fat butt in the ace of pentacles so let's start to really unpick the rest of the symbolism um i've got my big teaching cards here which are wonderful because they allow me to see that little bit more detail than we might do in a more regular reading deck very clearly here we have a garden we know it's a garden because it has a hedge or a boundary coming around it. So this is not wilderness. It is an enclosed space. Now, mythologically, gardens are really important. We have paradise, which is a garden. We have the Garden of Eden. In Old Norse, we have the Garths, which is a sort of an enclosed holy space. A garden's magical. A garden is a small area that you enclose off where... If you're diligent and more committed than me, you can tame nature or at least give the illusion of taming nature. Gardens are really powerful. And in this garden, we have lilies here growing wild in the field. And to me, that clearly, as well as, of course, the Christian nature throughout this deck, that clearly um, illustrates that this is the Garden of Eden. And then on this hedgerow coming around here with the beautiful archway come as well, 
these are i'm convinced red roses because throughout the tarot we have this duality of the white lilies representing spirituality connection to divine our inner world and the red roses representing the physical or the mundane world for example you can find them on the magician or painted on the wall in the two of um, wands and when we look at this picture we are clearly meant to follow this path come through the hedgerow and far off in the distance is the, is the Blue Mountains. And in the Rider Waite deck, the Blue Mountains is shorthand for your highest potential. Whenever you see Blue Mountains, your highest potential. Um, your highest potential, a bit like periods of growth, is hard work. It's much easier just to kick back in this beautiful garden here where everything is you know contained and the wildness is tamed this is your comfort zone and so to me the ace of pentacles is saying oh yes you've got an amazing opportunity here you could you know be enriched or financially secure or birth something that's magical and amazing but and to me, there is a but with the Ace of Pentacles. You've got to leave this Garden of Eden, this comfort zone. You have to follow the path out. And we've got no idea on context here. There's no other background that we can see apart from the Blue Mountains. So maybe they're really super close. Or maybe there is a whole ocean that we just can't see that you have to travel and the lack of other detail makes the context the um you know the distance to be impossible to see and that's how i read the ace of pentacles it is that potential coming in but to receive this you absolutely have to leave this comfort zone this might be leaving your job to earn more money as a consultant or a self-employed you know individual this might be stepping out of your comfort zone um in the evenings and joining a workshop or taking a course of some sort it you know it, it can have so many meanings but i'm going to argue that it's not quite as positive as many readers see mostly because of the lack of the odds but also the lack the sorry the addition of the rim and the fact that this is one of those pictures where pamela coleman smith's um ability to create a set design to lead the eye on the journey is so magical because we know that we're supposed to follow that path. And I want to do a whole separate um, spread on paths in this deck. Because we see again here in the moon this need to follow the path. She really is the most magical artist. I'm convinced that's why we were, we were gifted this, you know, inspiring deck. Because Pamela Coleman-Smith creates paintings that I personally feel as if I could step right into. 